hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create this beautiful cartoon coffee cup illustration in the app ibs paint text i will give in step by step instructions so don't skip the video anyway first i'm going to open a 3 is to 4 3 k canvas and here i'm going to import the color palette that i'm going to use for this illustration so first for the background, I'm going to use this dark purple color using bucket tool and filling this layer with that color. And in the new layer, I'm going to draw the cup. So for that, I'm going to use the yellow color. And here I'm using the felt tip pen hard brush. And I'm going to use the mirror ruler and curve tool to create this cup. So here you can see. Using the curve tool, we can draw any shape easily without any bends or irregular shapes. We can create that. So I prefer using this curve tool whenever I need. So here you can see for the smooth curvy cup, I'm using this curve tool. And once I'm okay with the shape, I'm just clicking on the tick symbol. And at the top, I'm just drawing another line. So this is going to be a front part of the cup. So I'm going to name this uh, layer as the front. So here you can see I draw the cup and I'm going to create a new layer. And here I'm going to draw the back side and at the bottom, uh, uh, bottom part of this cup. So using the same tool, I'm going to draw this and like this and fill with the same color and at the bottom i'm going to draw something like a stand or what you call for that in the bottom of the cup so i'm going to draw this like this if you are not feeling perfect just move the anchor points of that curve to create the perfect uh, line or shape you want so now just hide the background and using the canvas option in the transform tool and using the perspective option i'm just going to change the shape uh, height of the cup also going to reduce the size of the cup a little bit so now i'm just going to create the uh, rename the layers so for the front part I'm going to rename it as cup front and for the back part I'm going to rename it as cup back for the background as background once you are done next I'm going to add the uh, what you call that you know handle of that cup so I'm going to draw that using the same uh, you know the curve tool and fill tip and hard brush since we are joining the line with cup we can simply fill the space with the bucket tool now the cup is ready I'm going to add the shadow highlight details one by one before that I'm also going to add the face features for this cup eye and lips so i'm just using the mirror ruler again using the white color i'm going to draw the eye shape cartoon eye shape then fill with the color white then choose the black color click on the alpha lock for this layer and now i'm going to draw the black eyeball for this eyes like this okay now it's okay and i'm going to draw the mouth part as well so for the before drawing the mouth part you have to click off the alpha lock option then only you can draw now drawing the mouth with the same black color and filling with the black color 
then I am going to draw the tongue so click on the alpha lock option again for this layer and using the red color I am going to draw the tongue like this and I'm going to fill it with the pocket tool okay, next going back to the cup front layer creating a new clipping layer with the blending mode in linear bond I'm going to add the shadow details for this cup so here I used mustard color for the cup so using something like a burnt orange color I'm going to add the shadow and I'm using airbrush triangle for this the switch off the curve option and at the shadow details like this at the corners at the bottom so we have to uh, apply more shadow at the corners or corners especially at the bottom of the cup just like we use for the face features also for the handle adding some more darkness at the corners like this now i'm going to add the shadow details uh, then i'm going to add the color details for this so whenever there is more colors around us it's going to reflect on our face like if it is pink color orange color something like that it's going to reflect on the on our face so in similar way the colors pink purple are going to reflect on this cup as well so for that reason i'm going to add some pinkish purplish shades uh, with the normal blending mode uh, of this layer i'm going to add the shades like this more cup pink and a little bit of purple also moving back to the linear burn blending mode layer I'm going to add some more darkness at the bottom. It's like a chin part of that uh, for that cup. So like this. Now I'm going to add the highlights. For the highlights, I'm going to use the add blending mode layer. And make this layer is clipping. I forgot to do that before. So we're going to get the glowy highlights at the corner very corner of the face similarly i'm going to add the highlights at the corners also around the eyes so i want to make the um uh, make it brighter and also i created a new layer with the same blending mode add so here what I'm going to do is the same highlight details but for this uh, in this layer we're going to give some extra glow to the cup which means the um, glow going to be uh, you know out of that cup so for that reason I didn't make this layer as clip clipping so here you can see the uh, glow is um, it is the cup is glowing the glow details are around the cup just not inside the cup so for to get that look you have to keep the uh, layer as normal without no uh, without uh, making it clipping so adding some more shiny reflections to this near the eyes like this and also i want to add some details like this i don't want this so going back to the clipping layer with the add blending mode using the laser tool i'm going to select the particular area here i'm going to add some highlight details in this shape in the same flow of the cup so using something like beachy color i'm going to add i you know the highlights like this it's, you have to do something like a gradient one not more darker so now 
remove the lysis solution and using the blur tool just blur the corners so that it looks realistic and not edgy and now for the uh, back side part I'm going to add something like pink color it's going to represent some thing is inside of that cup uh, here you can consider as a coffee don't ask me why the coffee is pink it's just for the illustration and here you can see I'm adding the darker shadow details for this back side of the cup and for that I'm using the linear burn blending mode layer and then I'm going to use the add blending mode layer clipping layer and I'm going to add the highlight details like this also in the common add blending mode layer I'm going to add the extra glow which is around the cup Now everything is ready and we forgot the bottom part so moving back to the linear burn blending mode layer of that back side cup back layer I'm going to add the shadow details using something like a burnt orange or brownish color more darkness at one side Going back to the add blending mode layer, I'm going to add the highlight details like this. Here I'm adding some extra glue to that uh, outer part of the cup. Now the cup is ready. For the eyes, I'm going to add the same details, shadow details as well as the highlights. So creating the linear burn blending mode layer, clipping layer for the eyes. I'm adding, I'm using the gray color and adding the shadow details like this. Also for the tongue, I'm using something like maroon color to add the highlights. Then using pink color, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow at the eyes. Now I created the add blending mode layer using the mirror tool. Mirror ruler, I'm going to add the uh, highlight details, pink color, purple color, as well as some uh, whitish highlight details in the eyeball area in that black area like this also some gray shades uh, in, inside the mouth Okay, now the cup is ready. And now going back to this cup highlight uh, details, I'm adding some more, uh, you know, highlights around the eyes so that it looks some sort of realistic glowy bulgy cup everything is perfect now between the cup front cup back i'm going to create a layer this in this layer i'm going to make this smoke for this i'm using the air brush and the blending mode of this layer is add so using the add brush just create some strokes like this 
just make that shape flow like this adding some yellow pink color to the smoke then using the liquefied pen option in the special tool I'm going to make it something like the wavy smoke just make it like this and using eraser I'm going to erase some uh, smoky detail so that it looks a little bit of you know real okay now I'm going to use the glitter dots add brush and like this this uh, same shape of that smoke I'm going to add the details now like this So this uh, gives some glowy look to our illustration like a glittering smoke just reduce increase the size of the brush as per your wish also just change the color and see which works better and using the special uh, laser fill tool I'm going to add some hearts here and there in the smoke it looks really cool for this illustration then using the airbrush I'm going to add some glow to that heart I'm going to rename this layer as smoke now moving back to the add blending mode layer clipping layer of the cup front I'm going to add some blushes on the cheek like this now i'm going to add some background details create a layer above the background and change the blending mode to add using the pink color and airbrush triangle i'm going to add some shades here using the linear brown blending mode layer above the background i'm going to add some darkness like this moving back to the holiday layer and adding the shades and using the you know the pointillism brush pointillism one and pointillism two brush i'm going to add some glitter details like this this gives some extra flavor to the uh, you know the artwork uh, details at the background look really important Now just adjusting the opacity of the glitters and uh, everything perfect save as png and this is the final look i hope you like this cartoon style illustration if so tell me in the comments below also subscribe to my channel thank you for watching